I am here at the Future of Music Policy Summit in Washington, D.C., and I am talking to Rachel Shane, a singer-songwriter. And Rachel, tell us what you do and why it's fascinating. Okay, um, well, I am a singer-songwriter who writes uh, geeky indie pop rock. And uh, the best way to explain that is to tell you about uh, one of my songs. I, for instance, have a song called Google Thinks We're Dating, which is uh, based on the true story of the time that Google thought I was the girlfriend of a rock star. It is not true, but Google thought it was. And uh, I decided to take the concept and bring it to the absurd. So I've got this funny kind of fallout boy pop, pop, pop punk sort of song that uh, explores that concept. Although I don't just stick with um, pop punk songs, I write uh, Paul and Oatsy type things, and uh, I've been compared to Bare Naked Ladies a bunch. So I'm kind of all over the map in style, but I try to keep my music fun and witty. Fantastic. And where can we find your music? Uh, you can find me at rockstarbitch.com. No, really, rockstarbitch.com. I love it. <laughs> um, can you tell us one interesting thing you've learned here at the summit? Oh, well, you know, what was interesting is a couple of years ago when I was here, I heard that, you know, it didn't really make a difference between ASCAP or BMI, we could go with one or the other, it was really just a matter of preference. But yesterday somebody said something very interesting, and that was that somebody could be, uh, a songwriter could have co-written a, a song 50-50 with somebody from the other PRO, and somehow they don't get the same check. I found that fascinating, and I plan to look into that a little bit more when I get home. That is fascinating. So many things for us to manage. Yeah, definitely. So it's scary. It's very scary. It is. All right. Well, let's see. Can you tell us one more funny song you have just to end on an up note? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I have a song um, called Rockstar Bitch, actually. It's a... Uh, the idea was that I was upset about something, and uh, my friend looked at me, and she said, well, what do you care? You're going to be a rock star, bitch. And she thought for about half a second, she said, you know, you should really write a song, and we can scream bitch at you. And then I did, and people do, and it became kind of my calling card. So that's why you find me at rockstarbitch.com. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you, Rachel. It was great to meet you. Thank you. Likewise.